like this. Oh, would you please stop being a Open the back door so we can bury his ass out back. You can't throw him out back. Why? Because my cabbage out there, throw that track in. <laughs> me sis what the f is quiet fired me when I was about to quit <laughs> how you get fired from three jobs in one month Denise okay first of all I was quired <laughs> second of all jobs is for people who ain't got nothing else to do you ain't got nothing else to do <laughs> what happened at Pound Express okay <laughs> See, what had happened was, them <laughs> was talking about me behind my back, saying that they saw me on camera stealing food. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, because I don't really fuck with pandas anyway. <laughs> you want one of these egg rolls? I'm not about to help you eat no evidence. <laughs> Give me a shrimp. Come on in, Pat Pat. What you huffing and puffing about? Oh, I'm just having a bad time with these date naps. Do you know how many threesome requests I got on Christian Mingle? Girl, that is between you, God, and Joe Osteen. Now, you know God ain't nowhere near Joe Osteen. Hey, man. Uh, uh-uh, girl, we have got to go. One of them Christian Mingles who wanted a threesome is up in here. Come on. Where? That's him right over there. Girl, it is Principal Horner. Well, Horner trying to put in corners. Oh, come on, we gotta get him. Well, why would Terry hide your gift in here anyway? Because he trusts Janelle. Oh, I sleep in here too. Damn, you're right. What a one place you wouldn't look. The, the bookshelf. <laughs> Got his ass. Yes. Yes, open it. Okay. What the? I think it's supposed to be a Prada. This look like a name Nada. <laughs> I'm just gonna buy my own gift next year and put his name on it. You know, and he probably paid $400 for that when I could have got him the real one for two. How the hell are you gonna get a real purse cheaper than a knockoff? Because I met this chick at Panda Express. <laughs> she got the hookup on everything. <laughs> you was only at Panda Express for a minute. Well, you're a married woman. You know a lot can happen in a minute. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> well, look, I will go swap this one out with a real one and put it right back and he'll never have to know. Open the gift bag, Denise. <laughs> ah, I did do good, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> you did that. <laughs> You want a surprise, okay, huh? Okay, okay, all right. <sighs> My bad, y'all. I had to go meet a woman about a panda. Did that panda eat that bamboo? Tore that up. <laughs> yeah, I can talk. Oh, I know you heard that Quisha finally met her new booze family. <laughs> yeah, she said the mama was cool and the daddy was cool, too. It's that wife she had the problem with. <laughs> Baby, she is better than me. <laughs> Girl, let me call you back. Somebody in here acting like I'm disturbing them. <laughs> you happy? What you studying anyway? This for my debate. The topic is jury nullification. Is this where I pretend to know what that is? <laughs> well, it's when a jury returns a non-guilty verdict, even though the juror believes the defendant has broken the law. Okay, so you remember the movie Friday? Well, remember when Big Worm wanted to kill Smokey over forty dollars? Hell yeah, Big Worm was sexy. I used to love a brother with a perm. Well, in this case, the judge would be Big Worm, the jury would be the neighborhood, and they would tell Big Worm that even though Smokey is guilty, he shouldn't kill him because the crime doesn't match the punishment. Okay, well that sounds good. Not always. 
I mean, especially for people like us. That's why all these guilty people are getting off for killing unarmed black folks. Wow, I get it now. You get jury nullification? No, I get why your ass ain't got no boyfriend. <laughs> Well, what's your excuse? Girl, I will beat your just for me looking ass oh. up in this kitchen. <laughs> going, going, going. Gone. Now I'm gonna start with you, my Bible baby. So tell me, what's going on? Well, it's really very simple, Judge Justice, Miss Sophia. My sister, who I have loved her entire ungodly life, kicked me out of my home for no reason. You know the reason, Denise. <laughs> My, 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 my bad, the cameras just make you get into it, you know what I'm saying? Sit your buff ass down, sir. Like I was spilling before I was so rudely interrupted, I was forced out of the house with only the clothes on my back. She kept all my stuff, including my prized possessions, my wigs. Not the wigs. The wigs. The wigs. I gave her back them cockatoo-ass wigs. But after she defaced them. Well, I'll have to see this for myself. Bailiff, could you bring the wigs to the bench? <laughs> Slow one. We all must not have an HR department. <laughs> well, damn. This is some fine wigonometry. <laughs> this don't look like no cockatoo. <laughs> Why, you got some raw Indian, some Malaysia, and my go-to some bow bad Brazilian. That's what I'm saying, tell it, Judge. Okay, now, if I may, excuse me, I'd like to present Exhibit A. As you can plainly see, she dyed my wigs. My sister murdered Michelle, Sasha, and Malia. That one look like Bobo. Oh. Hey, 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 Jumbo. Just a cute little one to see. What you need, auntie? Well, I want to do some marketing for my new hair serum on social media, but I ain't got no followers. Well, you could go live on my account. You'll reach a bigger audience. Perfect. How are we going to do it? I would film it for you if Ma and Dad would give me my phone back. Hey, no! no. <laughs> well, uh, you could use mine for the regular price on the low. You already got me for a dub today. Well, apparently, that's how much Snapchat and white girls for now it means to you. <laughs> You can use my phone. Just sign into your account. Great. Just don't look at my DMs. Don't nobody want to see them mosquito bites them girls be sending you. <laughs> and Janelle, I want you to be the face of the brand. <gasps> yeah, I want you to be my model. Yes! Well, I have a debate coming up and they're streaming it, so, you know, I need to look good. Does it really work? Does it work? Does it work? Did this girl just ask me, do it work? <laughs> do you see this? This is a billion dollar pro Ooh, I said a billion dollars. <laughs> okay, I felt like Rihanna when I said that. Okay, yeah. All right, but this soldier boy book of glue better work. <laughs> hey, 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 now don't you vault clean. All right, daddy gets his cut. Oh, see, now this is cool. When me and Ryan went to go see him, these were going for like 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Pat, if Tony Free can get $50 a pop, you should be able to get, what, 20? I never really thought about merchandise. Okay, so if I can make you some real money with your merch, will you promote me from your assistant to your manager? You ain't even got the job yet, and you already asking for a damn promotion. Yeah, yeah, she sound like a real manager already. Yeah, because what does a manager make? Say, 20% of the cut? 10. You got yourself a deal. <laughs> I didn't agree to nothing. You know what? I'm gonna go call the girl who did my mama died t-shirts, okay? Cause she be doing silk screen and all that shit. She liked the Picasso of puff paint. About to make you rich, Pepe. <laughs> so that I, as your manager, can get 20% of rich. You just said 10. Okay, now look at here. It's my job to try. Hey, we gonna miss you to death while you go, baby. <laughs> What the hell? Where you going in her? You broke it off in my underwear. <laughs> hey, sir, I'ma need you not to stand so close to my client. The hell are you doing? And who might you be? Well, I might be Pat's agent, Denise Ford, with the Ford and Ford Agency of Fords. William Kent, club manager, pleasure. And if you don't mind. Oh, 
know, but I do. <laughs> yes, I heard that you wouldn't let my star client finish her set last night. Now, I'm willing to forgive that little mistake that you made last night under a few conditions. Oh, she got conditions. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, first of all... Okay, we're gonna need you to paint the green room a Waffle House yellow because she needs to decompress when she gets off stage. Mm -hmm. And then in the room... Is there a reason that you're not writing this down? <laughs> Well, we need the temperature set at 67.8 degrees. That's a shout out to the A. <laughs> and then Pat likes to snack on green seedless, pre-peeled grapes. And she only likes to drink on room temperature hot chocolate. You mean a Yoo-Hoo? <laughs> no, Yoo-Hoo no, heard what the hell I said. <laughs> and will your star client need the private jet to come and pick her up too? on the gas. I'm about it. <laughs> this was an adorable little skit. Look, I had nothing to do with this. Excuse my sister. You can see she's suffering from bicolor hair disorder. Listen, I admire your ambition, but there are no shortcuts at this club, Patricia. I know that better than anybody you book up in here. Then you should know we don't have urban nights here. What's that supposed to mean? The coon chip has been activated. Your act is not congruent with our clientele. I'm confused. Okay, let me know if you can understand this. Look. Oh. Your <laughs> is too ghetto for my <laughs> damn club. How about that? Beat your Uncle Tom hey, don't make me call security. <laughs> Talk to my damn sister like that.